Hi, in the previous video, we have seen the overall architecture of the Bistock 360 for managed services solution and we looked at the, how the various pieces fits together. In this video, we are going to take a look at how it's, it's, it's used practically. So let's take a, take a demo a demo here. So what I have done is, you know, there is a, the environment called uh, Bistock 360 Partner. So I just RDP'd into this uh, particular environment. You can imagine this as a as a as your customer uh, site. So you can imagine like you have VPN into into that environment, and you can control that environment locally. So RDP into this environment, and there is a local version of Bistock 360 running, and the name of the environment is Bistock 360 Partner. So you can go and see all the details, applications, and uh, so on. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to open the the new. Uh, a Bistock 360 Managed Services Portal. So let me open Firefox and say navigate to that. Uh, so this is the URL. So I'm going to log in as a person called uh, uh, Ricardo at uh, Bistock360.co uh, with this uh, password. Okay, uh, before going there, you, 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 if you notice, like as soon as you hit the URL, you've been directed to log in using the, the Windows Azure AD credentials. So the security mechanism is actually taken care by Windows uh, Azure AD. So I'm just going to log in. So once it's logged in, um, okay. So once you logged in, you can see uh, this is the organization and this is uh, the person who logged in. And so what we have done is we, we have our own internal mechanism to set up a partner. So in this case, we set up a partner called Kowai and we have given him given them uh, three keys to use uh, to access their customer site. So at the moment, you can see none of them are live and uh, uh, and uh, it's not actively used so it's a basically it's a fresh uh, uh, you can imagine it's a fresh partner and ricardo torre is the administrator uh, for that partner and also at the bottom you can see he can manage a bunch of users so these users could be the the users within his own organization for example there is a person called arun kumar kumaration and if you look at if you edit it, you can see is a is a this is his uh, email ID, and he, he got access to one of those uh, uh, remote environments. So now, what as a recorder tour as an as an administrator, uh, what he will do, he will basically copy the the site code. So I'm just copying it, and he will physically go to the customer site, and he will have a version of Vista 360 running there. He will go to settings. And there is a UI called service bus registration and you'll just paste that code there and then enable service bus and click save so once it's saved let's make sure that the background service is running which you can check here 360 health monitoring services status and you can see the service bus registration stuff is running so it should be good now let let's go back to this and you can see uh, this all this services is just uh, shown up just now and uh, you know like it just became active at 1055 our time which is local time so that means what we have just done right now is you know just by putting that site code into this uh, customer site and enabling uh, service bus you expose the service to the service bus relay uh, to be accessed uh, remotely so now what i'm going to do is go back to the the portal and then uh, just to uh, do a refresh. Okay, now now you can see it's saying this customer one is live now, but it's still it's not mapped. So we need to do one more thing. So we just need to provide the the, uh, the we need to map this identity to the local identity in the customer site. So what I'm going to do, I'm copying this recorder to this. Uh, email which is the which is the client we are going to use go back to the site and go to user access policy and there's already a bunch of users in the in the site already pre-configured so I'm going to use this particular user Bistro 360 super I click edit and there is a, a field called service bus identity 
So I'm just going to copy it and uh, and save it. So basically what you're trying to do is when, when Ricardo is trying to access this site from our portal, so this climb will be used uh, to hit the customer site and this climb will be mapped to this local user in that environment. So I'm just going to click OK. So that user is mapped on the on the customer side. So I'm just going to minimize this and let me refresh this uh, this screen again. So you can see now this customer site it's live and it's also mapped to this particular user. So now all I need to do is you know if I click on this one, I'll be able to able to manage uh, the the remote site automatically using this browser. But before doing that, I'll also do one more thing. So I will also do, you know, for this person, Arun Kumar Kumaration, I'm also going to give him permission. He got access to this customer one anyway. So let me go back here and say this particular user is a map to uh, Arun Kumar's uh, email ID. So now both the users are mapped. So if Ricardo wants to access the site, all he need to do now is, you know, you don't need to RDP or anything into this uh, into this customer site. All you need to do is, you know, just go click on this link. This link became active. It's live and it's mapped. And you go here and you just watch it. So you can see the URL. It's manage.bista360.com, but you are actually controlling this Bista360 partner, which is a which is thus just this remote site. So it's exactly so it's exactly same profile so it's a super user it's my profile but uh, but here you will have a, a super user profile so this is what we mapped so you can do whatever you want you know it's, a, it's just a, it's, a, it's a standard mechanism there's no difference but the big difference is you you don't need to you know RDP VPN or Citrix anything into the environment you are just managing everything securely it's HTTPS and uh, it's all the way through you can manage it. So let's. So this is a Ricardo's profile. So you logged in as an as an admin. Okay. Let me open a, another browser to show how Arun Kumar will be accessing the environment. So I'm going to uh, Chrome and I'm going to access the uh, same uh, our uh, our central portal manage.bista360.com and I'm going to use his email ID. So koi.arun at bista360.co and with his uh, password and sign in. So once he's signed in, he, he you can see his view is completely different because he's not an admin in the organization. He's just a normal person, and he got access only to this one customer, not the not the other customers for which he didn't have access to. But it's already mapped. And all you need to do is you know click on this one and it has taken to the to the the new site so so that that's how it is you know it's it we just wanted to make it very very simple uh, for people to with especially the consulting companies where they have access to multiple customer sites and at the moment they had struggling to uh, access them remotely uh, they didn't have they don't have options in a lot of cases and uh, in some cases, it requires a heavy infrastructure investments to do these kind of things. So we just made it very, very simple. So from our point of view, the requirement is very simple. As long as the customer has an internet connectivity on the server where Bistock 360 is running, you can manage them uh, remotely in a secure way uh, from our central portal.